much persuasion. What is the point in the Okay, thank you very much. Charging team will remain confidential. Would you like to find number of groups for research to check us up? Do you buy a toothpaste? What is it for? Okay, thank you. Bye. What is important to you and the brand of toothpaste? Hi, my name is Shannon. I'm from the Keel and Marcus Research. And today we're doing a survey about toothpaste. Thanks. Before you take a few minutes, first we need to make sure we have a good group of sections that are investigating. Today we have asked you a few questions about yourself. Hi, it's me. I really miss you. Call me when you get this. Which of the following best describes your marriage status? Married, never married, de facto, living together, separated, but still married, divorced, or widowed. Occupation of the main income owner of the household? It, it'll only take a few minutes for us to make sure we have a Yes? Hello? Hi, uh, my name's John. I'm calling from uh, Richardson Market Research. We're just doing a survey about toothpaste. I, I didn't want to buy any. No, 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 we're not selling any. We're, um, you know, just want to ask a few questions. Oh, all right. Thanks. Uh, Only take a few minutes. Um, certainly, just to make sure we interview a good cross-section. I um, do have to ask a few questions about yourself. Uh, which of the following age brackets do you best fit into? Uh, 18 to 24, 25 to 34, 35 to 44, 45 to 59, 60 or over? Ah, uh, the first one. 18 to 24? Yes, that sounds about right. And uh, which of the following best describes your marital status? Uh, married, never married, de facto living together, separated but still married, uh, divorced or widowed? Happily married. Great. And um, occupation of the main income earner of the household? He's a company director. Um, do you have any children? Yes, just one. Great. Uh, and do they still live at home? No, not anymore. Uh, right, over the past few weeks, which brand of toothpaste have you been using? I'm sorry, this really is taking too long. I'm far too busy. No. Is Alex there? Who is this? I'm his mother. Please put Alex on. Alexander, it's your mummy. Yeah? Hello, my dear son. It's lovely to see you. How are you? I'm really broke. Oh? I lost my job at the hypermarket. It wasn't my fault. Never mind. I always thought that you should look for better employment. Yeah, but, Mum, that could take time and, and meanwhile I haven't got any money. I'll put funds into your account immediately. Well, well, 2000 you know? Yeah, thanks, Mum. Can you make it, uh, can you make it five? You know, just in case? It, it, it's been such a long time since I've seen you. Maybe in between practising the guitar. You could come and visit your mother. Yeah, yeah, well, say it's my birthday next month. How do you uh, like to take me out for dinner? OK. That sounds wonderful. All right, Mum, well, I better go because the guys want to do another song. See ya.
So to squeeze any money out of your old lady? <laughs> yeah. All right, now we can eat. Pizza. I know the best place. Yeah, Alex pays. Yeah, okay. What's the number? The number is uh, 550 4327. Good afternoon, Oceanic Chemical Corporation. Oceanic what? Um, I want to place an order. Do you want our accounts department? Not sure. Um, I want a large family-sized barbecue chicken pizza with um, extra cheese. Chicken? Yeah, and uh, garlic bread. Look, I think you've got the wrong number. Okay, sorry. Um, see ya. Goodbye. Good afternoon, Oceanic Chemical Corporation. One moment, please. Mr. Crombie, call on line three. Hello, Susie. Hi, Susie. Mr. Clark? Please, Susie, call me Eddie. I've got work that has to be done. It can wait. Why don't we call it a day and go have a drink? Look, he asked me to finish it before I leave. And besides... Besides what? We've discussed all this before. But you know how I feel. I don't care. I'm not getting involved with a married man. But it's a loveless marriage. Mr Clark, I don't want to hear any of this. Please leave me alone. I can't. <laughs> I'm obsessed. At least come and have dinner. No way. What would your wife think about all this? Oh, I don't care what she thinks. Oh, there's another call. I have to put you on hold. Let it ring. Yes. Hello, Mrs. Clark? Yes, who's that? This is Susan from your husband's office. Oh, yes. Is there anything the matter? There's something I think you should hear. Please stay silent on the phone for just a moment. Hello, I'm back. Well, what about dinner? I don't think we should. Oh, come on. We'll have a beautiful dinner, some French champagne. Then we can get a suite at the Hilton. But what about Mrs. Clark? Well, I'll tell her I'm on a business trip. Why do you keep mentioning the silly old slag? Anyway, she's old and she's ugly and I detest her. Edward! What's going on? What is this? Maureen? Maureen, is that you? I don't understand. Mrs. Clark, do you see what type of man you've married? You bitch! Oceanic Chemical Corporation. Yes, halfway here. From the Melbourne office? Yes. I've got some sales data to upload to the server, but I've lost today's code. This stuff's pretty urgent. Okay. Uh, the number's 476-291-381. Maureen, it's Eddie. Yeah, look, honey, yeah, I know. No, it was only it was only a joke. You know, I know it wasn't funny. Sugar, look, you're the most important thing in my computer. Mill residents, Amanda speaking. 
Bonjour, Amanda. It's Eve. May I speak to your mama? Hi, Eve. Sorry, mum had to go out. Oh, Mert. You really need to talk to her. Could you please ask Julie to call when she returns? What's wrong, Eve? Oh, nothing. Nothing you understand. Is it boy problems? Well, oui, it is. Yeah, boys can be a problem. Thing is, two people should never expect to spend their entire lives together. If it happens, great, fantastic. You're very lucky, but if not, you have to move on. Remember all the good times and learn from the mistakes. Ooh la la, Amanda. You are only 11. Where do you get all this stuff? I'm almost 12 and I read a lot of magazines. How many boyfriends have you had? Heaps. Well, one or two. Three if you count Nikki, but we only kissed once and even then I think he only wanted my chewy. You know, Mandy, what you said makes a lot of sense. I do not know if I spend a lifetime with... I... I mean, he is a magnificent guy, but... Yeah, life is a long time. And life is too short to spend with someone you don't love. Oui. I think I know what I have to do. I know you'll do the right thing, Eve. I'll get Mum to call you when she gets back. Merci, Mandy. You are a thrilled together kid. <laughs> Pardon, I mean young woman. I'm going to call him now. Bravo, Amanda, my petite darling. Bye, Eve. Good luck. I can't talk right now, so you're speaking to an android clone of me. <laughs> Please uh, leave a message and I'll get right back to you. Sean, it's Eve. This is a really odd call for me to make. Want to break it off. I am so sorry. We were not meant for each other. I I don't want you to call me. I suppose this is goodbye. Come to the mall.